Somerset and Sussex had to dodge some heavy showers on the opening day of their LV County Championship match in Taunton. Another day which was enjoyed by both the home side and the visiting captain Ed Joyce, who needs just one more run for his fourth Championship 100 of the season. Joyce won the toss and decided to make the most of the green tin surface by batting first, only to see his side lose three early wickets. Luke Wells edged Alfonso Thomas to Alviro Peterson, before Rory Hamilton-Brown played a lovely looking drive off Peter Trigo, only to miss the ball and be bowled. Joyce should have been out before he'd scored. Trigo found the edge, but James Hildreth dropped the chance after being put off by Craig Keyswetter's dive. That would have left Sussex on 10 for 3 and in a bit of a mess. As it was, they'd reached 25 when they did lose their third wicket. Hildreth with the take this time to remove Chris Nash. Thomas and Trigo had both started well with the new ball, but as it got a little older, batting did ease a little and Matt Machen played some encouraging shots as he dominated a 38-run stand for the fourth wicket in eight overs. That took the total up to 63. Machen had made 30 of those 38 runs, but his innings was ended abruptly when he dragged a wide ball from Craig Mesheda back onto his stumps to finish off a 30-ball knock. The runs then dried up and after the first break for rain, which happened straight after lunch, Luke Wright and Joyce tried to get the ball ticking over again. After a stuttering start to this match, Sussex reached three figures as these two experienced players tried to dig in. They'd taken the total to 118 after a partnership of 55 when Wright on 24 also played on, this time to Trigo who now had three wickets to his name. Joyce had been dropped again when on 36 and giving him more than one life can often be very costly. His excellent season continued as he went to the 50 mark for the fifth time in just eight championship innings this summer. He had by now passed 600 runs for the four day season as well. His latest half century occupied 142 balls, that being his seventh four. He was in danger of being left high and dry when Ben Brown with seven runs to his name Drove Craig Overton to Johan Myberg, who took an outstanding one-handed catch in the covers. Brown left with Sussex on 146 for six, just before another break for rain at tea. They returned to the middle at 20 past five, and Thomas had Stefan Pilot taken behind the wicket for four at 166 for seven. Thomas continued to cause problems, even for Joyce, who not for the first time this season was holding his side's innings together. Just... He was closing in on becoming the leading run scorer in the first division of the LV County Championship this summer. A fantastic effort given that this was only his eighth knock and he's only been dismissed five times thus far. His average at the end of this day stood at 132. He was on 85 when Sussex lost their eighth wicket of the day. Will Beer losing his off stump to George Dockrell on eight. Beer was the fifth batsman to fall in single figures, which made Joyce's efforts even more important. In his last innings, he hit a magnificent unbeaten 164, and earlier on in the summer, he also scored 200s in the same match against Warwickshire. The race was on to see if he could add yet another three-figure score to his tally. James Anion had stuck with his captain long enough to earn Sussex a batting bonus point, but he then became the sixth man to go in single figures, as he was led before to Overton for three. Joyce had three overs left in the day to convert his 97 into 100, but he was left on 99 with last man Steve McGoffin. The Irishman will have strike for the first over of the second morning, when his side will resume on 210 for nine. The second new ball is just a couple of overs away.